Right guys, welcome back to Simple Rockets 2 and today we've got something exciting that I've been working on and I thought you might be interested and that is why we're in a new save today called career mode. So yeah, I've kind of been working on this little thing. So you can see it here. I'll just pull this up. It's a little program that I've made that will give us sort of a makeshift career mode for Simple Rockets 2. It's, I mean, I've I'm just, I haven't really tested it with the game yet, so I'm just trying things out. It doesn't connect to the game or anything, it's just a standalone software that I've made that kind of just does some calculations and keeps track of things. So, right, what we'll do, we'll start a new career in our little widget here. So this is the first screen you get greeted by, career name. So we're going to call this Rob Launch, oops, and we're going to start with, as you can see, the basic um rocket here is 1.3 million so we need to start with quite a bit of cash so we'll start with about three three million because we're gonna have to start low and we're just gonna go on easy now the difficulties is how much reward you get so if you're on easy You'll get a high reward. If you're on medium, you'll get a medium reward. If you're on hard, you'll get a low reward of like the cash reward from doing a mission. Right, so if we press create here, it's a bit too big for the me second screen. Right, so here we are. Here's our this is our screen that will get appears every time we open the software now that we've made a career we can reset it here we'll ask if we want to delete all our progress no that's not what we want to do right now so what you put in you put in the mission name you put in the payload if you want to put what you're sending you put in how much it costs to make that craft you put in a little bit of detail about that um about that mission that calculates your reward and you put in, if your mission failed, it will take off the cost price of the rocket. Uh, I'm gonna add it in where it takes off like a penalty for not completing the mission. I'm gonna put that in here. And also there's a mission complete button. So once you complete a mission and it's successful, you press that and you won't lose any money because you get the reward. So that's kind of how it works. Um, I'm I've needed to tweak the numbers and stuff, so that's obviously why I'm here today to test this out in with the game. So we'll just hide that for now. And what we'll do is we'll create our first rocket that we are going to launch. So our first mission is going to be a basic one, like I say. And it is going to be unmanned because obviously you don't want to start with manned rockets losing all that money so there's 50k just in that little tiny thing right so what we want to do we want to send up a little satellite we only want a small satellite now we don't really want to use them blocks it's just dead weird isn't it so we want to send up a little satellite that is just gonna make us some money and also get some satellite imagery isn't that the plan so, first of all, we are going to make this a bit square because everyone knows satellites are square. Alright. There we go. And we're going to make them a little bit... a little bit smaller. That, that is... Is that not the right size? That'll do, won't it? It will. Don't need any fuel in this. Uh, we need some battery power, so we'll put some battery power in this. And that is going to increase the weight. No, I don't think it does actually. So yeah, then we are going to texture this to be insulated. Insulation, and we're going to colour it. It's got to be gold, hasn't it? That's not really a gold colour. That's a gold colour. There we go. We want it metallic. Yeah. Pretty metallic like that. 
I wonder why it's it's matte on one side and dark on the other. Never mind. Anyway, this is our little cube. It's probably actually a little bit too big for our first rocket. So I think we'll make it even smaller, to be honest. Remember, it's our first rocket, so we need to keep the cost down as much as possible. And then what we're going to add... We're going to add a camera, because all satellites need a camera to be able to image these things. Let's rotate it to be like that. Try and centre it a little bit. Actually, I should just put it on the side, shouldn't I? Let's just put the camera on the side. It's still probably a little bit big, but never mind. It should be fine. We've got plenty of money. We've got three million in the bank. We do have three million, isn't it? I think so, yeah. <laughs> I think that's what I put in. Um, obviously, we need some solar panels. And they're a bit big. Actually, let's not go for them ones. Let's go for these solar panels. How much does, does that actually save you money? So... The, the big ones, oof, a lot, a lot of money, a lot more money. So yeah, if you guys come up with any ideas for missions, then feel free to, you know, let me know what sort of missions you'd like to see on these, in this, like, career mode. I might have them long way, a bit longer than the actual satellite like that. Just... We can get one on the top because it's not going to be affected by a decoupler underneath. I don't know whether we should give this fuel or not. Obviously, we'll go for reusability at some point. But at the minute, that is not priority. We just need to get this camera in the sky. I think we'll give it the ability to just... Um, To be able to manoeuvre it just a tad. I don't want that to be size actually. There we go. I'll put a little tank on it. Like so. And we'll give it A different texture actually we'll go with the vents and then we'll just need a tiny little engine on it ion engine so that is ion xenon xeon oh that's put the price up a lot though um but don't put that engine on and we'll put a tiny pixie engine on 210 with that fuel or oh, 283 okay pixie engines the way to go obviously we'll make it smaller oh that is saving us a lot of money nice so there we go there's our little satellite and now obviously we need to make the launch vehicle we're a bit off center them uh engines so our first disposable career launch. So what is the satellite? What is this mission going to be called? Orbit. Orbit at one. Right. So if we go back into my little program here, and we call this orbit at one. Orbit at one. Our payload is. Orbit one, one cam. The cost is eight five eight. Thousand. <laughs> right, so mission brief. Send our first sat 
into law new orbit. Calculate the reward. So we should get four million for this. So that's pretty good. Um, a pretty good deal, really. I suppose we are on easy mode here, so yeah, that's a pretty good deal. Maybe I might have to tweak that to be a bit less, because that is quite overpowered, isn't it? But obviously, if we fail, we are going to lose almost a million of our budget. So yeah, that kind of is a, a good payoff, really. Right, so we will lock in the heading, get our flight information up for our first launch. Hopefully all will go well. Ready and kick them engines on. Turn down the sound a little bit, it might be too loud on the audio. So hopefully this is going to work. Otherwise, we are going to be down already on our first Korea mission. So, oh, it's just this big rocket. I think could have made we could have made the satellite a little smaller and made a tinier sounding rocket. But we should have done a test flight first. It's our first mission. But never mind. All these things you live and you learn, don't you? We've only got 3,000 Delta V left. I'm starting to get worried now that we are, are actually going to not make this. And that is a lot of wasted money for our first mission. lean over a little bit more we want to try and be efficient with this burn obviously because we are low on fuel we don't want to be too causing too much drag but we don't want to be causing too little acceleration if you know what I mean get past 22 kilometers on our apps I'm getting worried <laughs> a little bit worried oh, I didn't even check the staging did I oh, that was a that was a smart move 2000 Delta V left oh my god oh, we're getting up to 60 now Right, okay, okay. Slow it down, slow it right down, slow it right down. Maybe going more or less horizontal. Oh, we are rapidly running out of fuel. Let's get rid of that fairing. Probably just got rid of that fairing a little too early. Let's should we do auto burn, see if that what it tells us we're gonna need. Too much. Oh no. Oh first field mission. It's going to be our first field mission. <gasps> Run out of fuel. How much fuel has this thing got? 120. Oh no! I mean, at least the camera works, right? Yeah, we've definitely failed this mission. So, what we can do, we can go into this here and we can click the mission field. 
She didn't say it's deducted the cost of this mission. And oh my god. There we go. You can say it's put all the information in there. And it's put the current funds when we completed our field mission. So, yeah. That is our little program. So, thank you very much for watching. If you did like, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one where we hopefully get a successful mission in this career.